Lately, I have been a little bit too invested in Minecraft content. One thing that I've been seeing quite often in this Minecraft content is the amount of incredible bases that are just really focused around geometric shapes. And I was thinking to myself, you know, that's not something I see all that often in Terraria. Well, I suppose that is unless you are a connoisseur of box houses, you can say. <laughs> so with that thought in mind, today I'm planning to work on a geometric build in Terraria which I think you guys are gonna really like. So I've got a sketch and a basic idea of how I want this build to look, and I'm thinking today, I wanna start this build off a little bit differently. So this is the area that I have in mind for where I wanna do the terraforming and where I wanna put this base, like this little plateau right here. <laughs> not, not much of a plateau, but this is where I wanna put the houses. It's gonna be a pretty big terraforming project just in the way that like, I want the shape of it to be, because I'm not going to find that naturally. So I think I'm going to start this video off in T-Edit, and I'll show you guys a little bit of my process there, maybe hop into a bit of a time lapse, and then once the terraforming is all finished up, we can hop into getting an outline for this build and actually starting to work on it. So here we are in T-Edit, and if you want to download T-Edit, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But the first thing that I actually want to do here, I probably want the brush, I'm going to have that to ellipse and get that really nice and small. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe this, but I want like a big lake here. And that's why I wanted to do this in T-Edit because I, I wasn't up for <laughs> building a lake in just inter area on its own. And then this plateau here can stay pretty much the same. I might do a bit of my own little details and whatnot, but I'm gonna start with setting this to erase, making it nice and big, making sure wall is checked off as well, and just going to take a nice big old chunk out of this. And what I'm gonna do is do like the bulk work in game, and then I'll come back into Terraria just in of itself and do all the little tiny little details and finishing touches and whatnot. So let me probably hop into a time lapse of working on this here, and then we'll get in game, and I'll probably just jump to when I'm ready to work on the next process of this build. <laughs> it's that time of the video again. Uh, I just want to give like a friendly reminder for anyone who isn't subscribed to the channel and wants to help support the channel and wants to help me get to 10,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it if you'd consider. We're getting really close there and it's going up pretty pretty quickly and it's really <laughs> exciting to see and I really appreciate everyone's support but I always just want to throw that out there for anyone who didn't think of it and might be interested in doing that. If not, seriously no big deal, I just want to mention it. And also, with a little bit more shameless self-promotion, you can also check out my Twitch channel where I do a lot of streaming of different variety for a while i was streaming daily but i recently picked up a job so i'm a bit more busy don't have as much time so it's going to be like a as often as i can which may or may not be a couple times a week but i like to stream recordings for builds variety of games minecraft terraria things like that so if you want to check that out there will also be a link to that in the description So I was fortunately able to do most of this in T-Edit, and I put in these like seaweed plants, which are unfortunately only something you can do in T-Edit. Uh, they only grow below the underground level on top of sand, so if you want them above that, you need to use T-Edit. I put in some little lights, and I'm trying to think of different ways I can illuminate this a bit better, and I'm just going to add like a, a few more details until I'm ready to move on with this build, but I'm not going to show too much. I just wanted to quickly actually go through my process of testing something that I learned from Chaos, which is a pretty neat trick, and it has to do with echo blocks. If you put echo blocks in water, like so, and let me do a good couple, couple rows of this here, you can already see how the water below is starting to illuminate. And once you actuate these echo blocks, they won't be noticeable and it just illuminates the water a little bit and you can kind of do this 
layering effect here because I want this like top portion to be just a bit brighter and I'm not too worried about anything below that like below this line here I'm pretty fine with that being dark because you know water does get dark I feel like it just gets a little bit too dark too quickly so let me actuate all of this real quick and just like that you can get a feel for what I mean in how it just helps illuminate this just a little bit better. So now I'm not too concerned about adding light down here because really it makes sense that it's dark and I don't want to do too much details down here either because it's really just, it's not the focus of this build. I might do that like at the end when I'm polishing things up. So I am just have a little bit left to do just to make this a bit easier for me when I start building and then we can get working on this. So I'll see you guys in a second. So now that I've got this lake over here all figured out, I am just about ready to start outlining what I wanna do for this build, which I'm pretty excited for. Pretty excited for, I think it'll be cool. It's again, another one of, I'm really trying to be experimental lately. <clears throat> and this is another one of those builds that is highly experimental. So when I said geometric, I'm thinking of doing mostly octagons and you'll see the general concept for this kind of layout once I'm done. So it's going to be octagonal like this, hopefully bigger, and I'd like to do something that's very cozy but also very functional. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll see you guys once that's done. With much experimentation and honestly I'm extremely happy that I had a sketch to go off of for this that I could look back on for kind of a reference to figure out what I wanted to look like this this is it this is <laughs> this is my kind of central basic idea I started with this bad boy here and this bad boy here and it was looking really odd but once I added the other shapes that I had in the sketch it started to really pull together super helpful doing this outlining everything I didn't put everything in this scene quite yet because I want a bit of it to be a surprise but I think the next step in this process is going to start taking these outlines, these basic shapes, and actually making them kind of the basis of materials we're going to use for this build. So what I'm going to do is hop into a time lapse and kind of replace all of this with the different woods and materials that I want to use for this. So let me get into that and I'll see you guys when I'm done. And here we have it. This is uh, really starting to look good. <laughs> it's starting to look like how I was envisioning it and I'm really glad. So now that this is together, the next process is of course going to be working on walls and all of that. Now unfortunately this is pretty big for a build. It's not like the biggest thing but it's not the smallest thing either so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this in steps so 
I might go with maybe this house here or just like a room, maybe one of these rooms. And I'll work on the wall with you guys and I'll actually talk about my process and what I did to decide on what walls to do. And then I'll hop into a time lapse, kind of finish up the build, and then I think I'm going to do the same thing with furniture. I'll hop in here, furnish this little house up, and then I'll put the rest into a time lapse. Now, uh, I don't know how to do walls. <laughs> When I do walling for houses, I will tell you right now, most of the time it's winging it with an educated guess, <laughs> I suppose. It's really just a matter of fact that I've done a lot of this in the years of playing Terraria, that it's something that you just kind of get a feel for and you learn to work with. And sometimes, sometimes it's stuff that makes sense and sometimes it's stuff that's easy to go with. But a lot of the times it's kind of like, let me throw this in and see how it works. If you don't know where to start, I think a really good place is actually looking at the materials that you have in the house. Like, for example, we have rich mahogany and we have pearl wood. And seeing how you can pair that with walls that either look similar or just walls that work well with it. Could be the walls from the block. Maybe it's not. It doesn't really matter what the material is. It's really just all about the looks. It also helps with these woods. Um, I like using orange paint because it just gives it a bit of a, honestly, a bit more realistic of a color. Like it's a lot less saturated and I feel like that makes a lot more sense. You don't see like super saturated colors in real life all that often. Now a big part to houses when you don't know how to do the wall is to actually add some windows. And because I want this to look very modern, I feel like windows going to be a really really big piece of this so let me get some glass wall just kind of a mix mash of windows and then up here I really want this to be like a grand like bedroom I don't want it to be too much like you know they all kind of end right here and to change that I'm actually going to just have walls here and then do what we did down there with like a floorboard and that way they're not like flush with one another so I'm gonna leave that alone I might touch up on it later we do have this room right here that I didn't finish but I'm gonna come back to it but down here is also going to be quite simple what I want to do is mix the crimson brick wall with the green slab wall you can get from the dungeon I think they go well with one another with the textures that they have going I that's the wrong color of paint I want the rest of this to kind of mimic what we had going on before and I want the rest of it to be kind of clean so with that I'm gonna just add some beams and call it a day that's it <laughs> there's actually nothing else I really want to do there just because it's a very small area and again I think the furniture is what's gonna really stand out there now this room that I decided to come back to I wanted to come back to because I wanted to give myself a bit more time to kind of get a feel for what I want this house to look like and right now, it's a little hard because Rich Mahogany is a darker wood, but I want to add a bit more depth to this by adding some, like, mixing horizontal and vertical lines and also adding in some typically darker shades of wood into this house. So right here we have the spiral staircase, and I want it to look like the spiral staircase takes up a bit more space in this room than the rest of the areas. One thing that I... <laughs> that I, um didn't do is add an entryway to this house and I'm not quite sure what I want to do for that yet so I'll come back to it and that might also help make things a little bit more interesting here. So this is kind of my process for the wall. Hopefully this helped. I know I tend to ramble a lot. Like I said, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't imagine that my thought process is incredibly helpful but I know you guys like hearing it so I thought I'd give it a shot.
all the walls are finished up and I can't tell you just how happy I am with this. I love how this background house came out. Yeah, I think it could look better, but who cares, right? <laughs> I think it came out really well for what it is. Up here, we do have a couple of these smaller houses that I want to work on with furniture. And then, of course, just like I did with the walls, I'm going to go ahead and furnish the rest of the house in a little bit of a time lapse, as well as, you know, some touch-ups. Up here, I had planned ahead of time to kind of have as a bedroom. So I was planning to have, of course, a bed. Unfortunately, with the way Terraria works, that sloped wall being there will mean that it's obstructed. So you can't place your spawn. So I'm going to keep it right there. And that's just kind of getting started on this bedroom up here. Now, one thing I don't like is that up here, the glass hits the wood and it just, it doesn't look like that would work well in a house. The brass shelf, that's from the dungeon and it just adds that little line. And then I want these corner pieces to blend in better. So I'm gonna get some platforms. Dynasty platforms take and paint pretty well and have like this nice edge there. So you can just paint it and it looks like there's just that little bit of detail that really helps pull these builds together. Down here, I really want to have as like a lobby nothing too like not too much going on a lot of the time what I like doing with just general houses my <laughs> tables I use the most is the pearlwood table and the chair I use the most is the green dungeon chair because it just looks like a really nice chair that you'd find in like a, a really nice home cozy kind of home because it has a little cushion and just it looks nice and I like that and when I was thinking of decor for this I was actually thinking I kind of want to try to tell a story with this house so I want to have the slice of cake like you know there's, there's a cake there and then actually that brings us back up here and that brings me to having a dresser over here which I was planning to do and I'm going to put a trophy on top oh no the platforms get in the way so, you know, there's a trophy, there's some cake. The trophy is very saturated, actually, <laughs> looking at it. And I might have something else here when we actually have the space for that. Last, but most certainly, not least, part of this house is uh, something that I really wanted to show off and I'm looking forward to because it's something that I found out a long time ago and I wanted to show off. So for this, I'm going to make this bottom port here, port? <laughs> bottom part here look like a cellar of sorts and a cellar with some age appropriate beverages because I am not um, 21 and do not want the government coming after me. If I was to do a little something down here and I'm gonna actually put some walls behind there to make that work better because I want to actually have more room for furniture and then I have like you know a keg right here. If you take this loom and you put it there see how look see how it kind of looks like a sideways that's actually sideways a frontward facing keg if you take say a color of the wall behind it and just paint that portion there it really pops out and actually really looks like that and this just looks like a wall detail and I thought that was a cool little trick if you wanted to make stuff like this and that's exactly why I'm doing it and a little a little fancy drink there oh I just drank it um <laughs> uh, how do you play this game there we go. <laughs> Just something like that. It's it makes it pop a little bit, but isn't too overwhelming. One thing that personally I feel ties together any build, regardless of what you do, is adding cobwebs afterwards and just kind of mixing them in. So there are some changes I want to make to this, and I'll probably come back to that. I did remember I wanted to have this up here too, because I feel like it's just such a cool decorative item and fits really well with this aesthetic. I think this is where I'm going to put a door. I might add some windows. I'm going to work on all that in a second, but hopefully this helped. If you guys want to know anything more or have any advice on how I can, like, I guess, be more helpful <laughs> with these uh, little bits, then I would appreciate it. But like I said before, I am going to time lapse the next step of this, which is going to be adding furniture and then finally some finishing touches to really make this build pop. I'm going to hop into that and I'll see you guys when we're done.
and that officially wraps up this build. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate everyone's patience because this video is getting out quite a bit later than I planned, and I am sorry about that. Just want to remind everyone that this world will be up for download. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And I don't know, I hope you guys liked it. As always, I would really appreciate feedback and things like that. I really love hearing back from everyone, like their thoughts on the build, things that they may have been interested to see differently, and always just like suggestions for other builds and videos. I'm always happy to hear that from anyone if you guys have any of those. And I guess that's pretty much <laughs> it for today. So thank you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and I'll hopefully get a video out pretty soon from now. All right. Goodbye. See ya.